With the right strange spooky material, a beloved director finds his way again. Yes, we are talking about Tim Burton and his movie Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So let's have a look at the five reasons why you should watch the movie this coming weekend. It's been 9 years since we liked Tim Burton's movie Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of the Fleet Street, and a whopping 20 since we loved one Mass Attack. I had begun to think that I had lost all affection for this talented wayward director who conjured such bountiful weird visions early in his career and then seemed to get blinded by the empty glam of studio CGI. What a nice surprise then to watch Burton's new film Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and feel a stirring of that old Burton love to find his dark whimsy fresh and vibrant again. There's the old Tim Burton we all used to root for. am i able to wandering out of the woods like he hasn't been lost for a long time miss pregreen is based on the popular novel by ransom ricks it proves to be ample sturdy source material full of visual wonder and intriguing narrative loops for burton to build one of his big multifaceted curious atop but hidden within that traditional enough narrative is an arresting Burton Y brand of spiky melancholy a wistful laced with menace that is equal parts shivery and poignant You see Miss Fregrin is most strikingly a story about time and memory and the blit and the bitter stewart process of growing up which are all big if a bit confusing use of time travel Miss Fregrin meditates on an idea of arrested adolescence that is both appealing and tragic A nifty notion of perpetual youth that begins to seem more grotesque the more the film forces you to think about it. We don't want to oversell Miss Fregrin as some sort of ruminative mood piece about the human experience. It's not. It's a kids film co-starring Samuel L. Jackson as an eyeball-eating math scientist, but it's the rare kids film that has a sense of risk and stakes and tension to it that admirably dares to be violent and unsettling and sad. Those qualities have long been Burton's bailiwick, but here he finally synthesizes them together in a way that's coherent and thoughtful. Miss Peregrine is a testament to finding the perfect material to match a director's taste rather than trying for some hideous compromise like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Alice in Wonderland. As Tim Burton's best film in almost a decade, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children has an exciting air of rejuvenation about it. It's confident and judicious with its peculiarities while letting its heart and intellect not Johnny Depp in a bag wig beat stars. So go out and watch this film and tell us in the comment section how you like this review and the film as well.